So what is a hydraulic lifter or a tappet? I've always wondered about that. If you look on the back of the cage here, you can see that it has this channel for getting oil to each of those hydraulic lifters. And there's the hydraulic lifter itself. There's a little hole that gets oil from those channels into the lifter itself. You can see it there. A hydraulic lifter is called a hydraulic lifter because it has fluid in it. The fluid in this case is engine oil. Hydraulic lifters were first introduced on the Cadillac V16 engine 90 years ago, so they are far from a new technology. Hydraulic lifters are a development to solve a problem, expansion. Metal gets bigger as it heats up. Prior to hydraulic lifters, you needed to leave a gap between the top of the valve and the lifter to allow for that expansion. That gap is called valve lash and needs to be adjusted with a feeler gauge to be within a certain tolerance. It's that small gap that results in the tapping sound that we get the name tappets from. And so even though hydraulic lifters are not tappets and they're not supposed to tap, we still use that name today. The hydraulic lifter sits right on top of the valve and it's spring loaded so that it has no gap at all between the lifter and the valve stem. When the engine is running, the hydraulic lifter is filling with pressurized oil and making sure that there is no space between the valve and the lifter. As the engine heats up, it simply takes in less oil to fill the space. When a hydraulic lifter is not working properly, it's often from dirty oil that has blocked those little holes or the one-way valve within the lifter, and the oil is either not getting in there or it's leaving too quickly and leaving a gap behind the valve. And that's when you hear someone saying, oh, the tappets have gone in your engine. It sounds like this.